not many sports teams decide to have an official crazy hair day on the eve of a semi-final. However, the Otago Breakers have been defying logic all season. They've stormed their way into the semi-finals of the WNBL, despite being written off before the season started. But although the Breakers appear to be a bit too relaxed, Coach Aaron Olsen says it's that kind of attitude that's got them where they are. We'd much rather be relaxed than nervous. Uh, we've done a lot of really hard work this year. We feel like we're ready to play, so there's no, re no reason to be anything but relaxed and just go out there and play our best today. The Breakers will take on the Harbour Breeze in the second semi-final tonight. by going into the match as underdogs, despite beating the Breeze twice already this season. The first game, I think they were a bit shocked. It was at home and sort of we took them by surprise when we beat them. It was quite close, but we managed. The last quarter, they just sort of lost it and then went up there and they were thrashing us in the first quarter, we just slowly came back and after the game I think they just couldn't believe that we'd done it again so it'll be a very big game tonight because we haven't beaten them by heaps both times, we've been lucky and they've been unlucky so it's going to be a huge game. Both semi-finals and tomorrow night's final will be played in the new Lion Arena. Basketball New Zealand CEO believes it's the ideal venue to host such a big event. We've been looking for uh, the opportunity to come down here and bring some major events and finally we've got the, uh, the great reason to come down here which is a great facility. It's a great spectator facility, it's also a great uh, player venue so we're really pleased with Dunedin to, uh, to finally put this place up. Crocker will be joined by national women's coach Mike McHugh for the weekend's games. Despite their success, none of the Otago girls have made the recently named Tall Fern side. Olsen believes some of them will be able to prove the selectors wrong. I think there's a few girls in our team that feel like they should have maybe been included in the Tall Fern group. Um, Susie Bates in particular. Bates, though, is concentrating solely on the semi-final. I try to say it's just another game, but you know, I know when I get out there, um, my nerves are going to be much higher than other games. But just see how I can control them and hopefully just get in the game early so I can play without thinking about it too much. If Otago beat the Breeze, they'll face either Canterbury or Waikato in the final tomorrow night. Dominic George, 9 Local News.